Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I am going to be putting together my next four spreads in my Everyday Explorers Mini Makers Mini Book Makers Club. Ugh. Okay. Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I am going to be putting together my next four spreads in my Places album which is the Everyday Explorers Mini Book Makers Club subscription. So if you have not seen this yet, I will link a, a video up at the eye that shows you an unboxing of this kit and kind of describes and explains what this mini book makers club is all about. And then I also have a first process video showing you the first four spreads in this book. So today we are going to be working on four spreads that document my favorite places to visit in the state of Michigan, which is where I live. So I've got Holland, Michigan, Traverse City, Frankenmuth, and the Detroit Zoo. I already have all of my photos printed and uh, also the ephemera pieces set to the side so I know what I'm using with the sketch and all of that. So we're just going to go ahead and dive into this and get started. In talking about my favorite towns or cities to visit in the state of Michigan, I would be remiss if Holland, Michigan was not at the top of that list. It's funny because I already have a few other nods to Holland here in my album, but I don't care. I love this town so much. If there were anywhere that I would live other than where I live right now, this is where I would live. It's just, it's my favorite place. So what I did is I went on my, I went through my own photos and I found one of my husband and myself and my brother-in-law all in Holland at the brewery. So I thought that that would be a good picture to print just to show, you know, that we were there. So that is a photo of us. Everything else that I have here is a photo of different aspects of the town that I love. So I've got a photo of the entrance to Hope College, which is the college I attended for my freshman year of undergrad and had, you know, just an awesome experience there at that school. Uh, going to Holland, or going to Holland, going to Hope College was my dream. And, um, it was, you know, I feel very lucky that I was able to go for a year. It didn't work out for all four years, but I do feel lucky that I was able to go for at least one. And um, so that goes on the list of things about Holland that I love. I also have a picture of some of their, or one of their restaurants, one of their more well-known restaurants, because the food in Holland is really awesome. So you can go to all different kinds of like places to eat and it's just really like a homey and, and nice, you know, like comfort. I don't know. It just, to me, it's very comforting to, uh, eat the food there. There's just something about it. I also have a picture of the shopping like district street, I guess I want to call it because Holland, Michigan has one of the best downtown shopping like areas. It is amazing. Uh, that's one of the things that I love about visiting there is being able to go into the shops and go to all of these different boutiques because it's just, it is the best. They have this children's shop that I love that's called, um, oh gosh, I can't think of the name of it now. I want to call it like Twinkle Toes, but that's not it. <laughs> but it's something like that. And it's amazing. It's just, I love it. I just love it there. So, um, I have a picture of the shops and then I also have a picture of the lighthouse at the Michigan, Lake Michigan State Park, which is right there in Holland as well. So, um, or it's the Holland State Park, I, I guess, but it's on Lake Michigan and they have a red lighthouse and it's super cool. I spent many a days on the beach studying when I was in school there. And then now we go back typically about once a year to do all of that. So we go to the beach and we do the shopping. And then of course we go to the breweries because even though I included a picture of one of the, um, I think it's called the windmill restaurant, if I'm recalling correctly, um, they're also super well known for all their breweries, which you guys know is like a super win for me and Aaron. So we typically go um, to the breweries and we go shopping and we go to the beach and we love it all. So this spread is to celebrate the town of Holland. I used one of my older uh, Kelly Perky 
alpha stamps here to stamp out my title Holland. It's one that's no longer in stock um, since, you know, she doesn't have the Kelly Perky company. She's paper person now. Uh, but I really love that one. So, and it, it worked the whole title fit across the top of it. In the bottom, I added the word. It's like a scripty word that says, this is the, and then I added the block text place at the bottom. So that's going to be you know, part of my decoration there, this is the place. Then I'm figuring out where to add the photo of all of us because I'm either going to add journaling on top of the photo or underneath the photo. I decide to add it there at the bottom and then I will do my journaling on top of the page. And then I've got the four photos that are going to go on the opposite side. So I printed these a little bit shorter because I wanted some space underneath them just to do a tiny bit of journaling about each of the different things. So you're going to see me set these up and then adjust them just slightly so there's a little bit of extra room in between them. I'm gonna do this trick where I add just a tiny little bit of adhesive into the direct middle of the photo, place it on the page, and then when I'm happy with that placement, I will pull it back up and add adhesive to all of it so that I can stick it down all of the way that I want to. So then I've got these four rectangle labels there that came in one of the cut aparts. And what I wanted to do on these was to add a title that gave some context as to what that photo was about. So I'm going to use these puffy alphabet stickers that I just had in my stash, and I'm going to add the words shop, eat, no, shop, food, beach, and hope are going to be the four words that I use. Hope is because it's Hope College and the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. Now, these alphabet stickers are not super sticky and so anytime I use them, I'm always a little concerned that they're going to fall off the page eventually and they probably would. So what I will do is pull over my sewing machine a little bit later and I'm actually going to stitch down the alphabet stickers onto the labels. And then once we have that done, I can add the labels onto the pages uh, and it works out fairly nicely. Now before I do that I want to go ahead and add my journaling lines on here. The nice thing about this book is it has the dot grid so it's super easy to line up a ruler and draw your own lines for journaling. I drew some underneath the Holland title above the photo and then just a couple of them underneath each of the extra photos as well. I took that to the side, went ahead and added in my journaling and then the last thing I need to do is to stitch on these titles, add them onto the photos and then get those photos permanently adhered down all the way on all of the edges. So for this, I'm just going to stick them through my machine. I'm pulling them all through on the one line. It just makes it a little bit easier instead of you know, clipping them each every single time I finished one. And then we will get rid of the strings that connect to them all so you can kind of see how I just strung them all along on the one line. And I do have to adjust a few of those letters because as it's going through the sewing machine, it does jar them just a tiny bit. However, the uh, stitching on them, it just makes me feel a lot better that they're going to stay secure and on the page that I don't have to worry about them falling off. So I'm just going to take some score tape and add a few tiny little strips onto the back of each one of them before adhering it down onto the photo. I like that because it's you know super strong, so I know it's gonna stick down really well. And then I will decide where I'm going to place these. At first, I thought I was gonna put them in the upper right-hand corner. Then I thought about the, the lower left corner, and then ultimately I rest on the lower right corner. I am sticking them roughly two thirds of the way on, maybe even a little bit less than that, maybe only halfway on, and then trimming off the bottom portion. And I think that that helps to not detract too much from the photo. I didn't want to cover up too much of them. So that to me helped out. So I'll skip over a lot of that so you don't have to see me repeat the same thing over and over again. We'll stick down that last photo, clear off my desk here, and then we'll move on to the next page, which is going to be all about Traverse City. So Traverse City is another favorite town of ours here in, in Michigan. It's a very touristy area, but what's really cool about Traverse City is that it also has this you know, beach area where you can go and be on Lake Michigan. But then there's also a very strong um, 
what I want to say, a very strong like winery market. Like there are so many vineyards up in the northern part of Michigan and they are just they're just beautiful. Like you go there and and Michigan in general is is a beautiful state, but when you are in northern Michigan in a town like Traverse City, it doesn't even feel like you're still in Michigan. Like it's just it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. So we love Traverse City. I used my uh, I have a smaller alphabet stamp from Allie Edwards. I don't even know if that's one that's in stock anymore, but I picked it up because I definitely want to get some more alphabet uh, stamps because I use those a lot. And then I grabbed my Allie Edwards Willamette green ink to add my title there at the top. So it has Traverse City. It fits all the way across. And then I printed out three different photos here and I did them in a more like long strip type orientation. And um, I'm using these three banners. There are three of them. They all say the same thing. They're all in the same shape. And I thought that would be a great way to tie all of these photos together. So what I did is I printed photos of three things about Traverse City that we love. So the first was a picture inside one of our favorite vineyards, uh, which is called 45 North. And then um, I have a picture of Aaron and Izzy riding a carnival ride during the Traverse City Cherry Festival, which happens in July every year. And then I've also got a picture of us on a hike because that's something else that you can do in Traverse City that's really pretty awesome. So you can do like the relaxing vineyard scene. You can go and do the um, <laughs> the carnival, like festival type scene. And then you can also do some adventuring and go hiking and go seeing some really awesome sites. So it's just a super well-rounded place to visit. And I think that that's really cool. They also have fantastic downtown shopping. They're really close to a bunch of other towns in Michigan that are really fun to see. Like you can go to, um, you can go to, oh gosh, Sutton's Bay is not too far from there. Fishtown is not too far from there. Like there's just so much to see and do. It's a really, really cool place to be. They also have breweries. So if you're not into um, wine or vineyards, you can go to some of their really cool breweries there in town. There's one, um, actually it's like part, part winery, part cider house, sort of a deal called uh, Left Foot Charlie's, which is in an old um, mental hospital, which is really cool. So it's just, it's a really, really cool place to visit. So if you've never been to Michigan and you've never been to Traverse City, I highly recommend it uh, to put it on your list of places to go because it's really cool. So I added some geotags in the same colors as the banners that I put on the photo. So I've got a yellow, a red, and a blue. And then I went ahead and drew in my own lines there to add my journaling. I took the stamp set there and I forget what that says. I think it says like stories of here or, you know, something like that. And I just stuck that at the bottom for some additional decoration and then um, did my journaling and called that spread done. My third one for today is all about Frankenmuth. Frankenmuth is another one of our favorite places to visit in Michigan and one that we typically visit regularly. So Holland we go to about once a year, Traverse City we go to about once a year, and Frankenmuth we typically go to two or three times a year. It's not as far. Uh, for us to get to Holland, it's about two, two and a half hours. To get to Traverse City, it's about four, between four and five hours away. Uh, Frankenmuth is about 45 minutes to an hour. It's really not that far at all. It is a, um, like a German town. So they've got, um, a lot of like German shops and German beer and like all just lots of fun things. It's like a little, what do they call it? A little Bavaria, essentially. There's also the, I don't know if it's the world's biggest Christmas store or if it's just the state's biggest Christmas store, but it is the biggest Christmas store is in Frankenmuth as well. So we go there usually around Christmas time to pick out our ornaments. And then we also go for Mother's Day and Father's Day every year. So I guess te technically we go three times a year and sometimes we go more. It's just, it's a really fun place to go. Um, 
So for the left side of this spread, I've got a photo of myself, my husband, Isabella. Jonah is in a carrier that you can't really see him because my husband's wearing him and bending over so you can't you can't see Jonah, but Jonah's there. And then my brother-in-law came with us as well. I forget why we went up. You know, actually, I remember now they do a um, fall like scarecrow festival. So we went to go to the scarecrow or the pumpkin festival, something like that. Scarecrow festival, I'm pretty sure. And we just went to go walk around and have fun and do something fall related. And this was a couple years ago. So it was a great time. I pulled out that tiny alphabet stamp from Allie again to stamp Frankenmuth up at the top. I used the, I want to say it was like the grapes, something grapes color from Tim Holtz, so like a purple color. I wanted to pull in some of the purples from the, um, from the stickers this time because I thought that that would be fun. And then I went ahead and used my um, journaling pen to create four sections on the right side of this page. So that is for me to write about four different things to do with Frankenmuth. And I I stamped in there, um, I believe it says the story and then must see, must do, must try. And so I wrote my journaling in there as though like, if you're going to go to Frankenmuth, here's what you should do. So the back to the photo. The photo we took outside of the Cheese House, which is one of our favorite stops to make when we're in Frankenmuth because they have like a million kinds of cheeses and we love cheese. So we go in there and sample them and always walk away with some expensive piece of cheese because why not, you know, when in Frankenmuth, get the cheese. Um, so we did that. I'm going to trim a little bit off of both sides so I can just stick it down in the book and have it fit in there nicely. So that's going to do that. And then uh, for the stuff that I talk about, I talk about um, going to Bavarian Inn, which is one of the restaurants there. Actually, Bavarian Inn or Zenders are the two main restaurants up in Frankenmuth. And to definitely go to those because the home style meals are the best and always get family style because it's the best. Then I talked about how uh, we like to visit for all different kinds of occasions, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas time, all of those things. I talked about going on the boat tour. There is a boat tour that's a wine and cheese boat tour. It's so fun. So if you've never done it before, I recommend it. It was really fun. And you learn about the history of the town and all kinds of stuff. So it's, you know, informative, but also just a relaxing, nice time. And then... Um, I don't remember what the last thing I wrote about was. We also really love the Frankenmuth Brewery, which is up there. So that's an awesome stop to make as well. And um, there is a shop section underneath one of the restaurants. So Bavarian Inn has the castle shops underneath. And those shops are amazing. The toy shop is such a fun place to go to. So definitely a visit, especially if you have kids. For the last place that I am talking about, this one is not necessarily a town, uh, but is rather just a place that we like to go. So we are avid, avid, avid fans of our zoo. We're members of the Detroit Zoo and we go um, typically about once a month, sometimes more than that. Sometimes we don't always make it every month. Our goal for 2021 is to go every month. And so far we are three for three. So we are a quarter of the way there and that feels really awesome. So I, for this spread, I am using the circle stickers as bullet points and I'm going to add the title Detroit Zoo up at the top. I believe I'm going to do it with alphabet stickers. I don't remember. So we'll see as I get to work on that. Then I printed six photos here that are each two by two and they're slightly less than two by two because I wanted there to be some white space around the the edges of them. So um, I trimmed off the the outside edges and then the rest of it I'm just going to stick in just as is. I didn't feel the need to trim out all of those little square photos and I think it turns out just fine this way. Um, but it did work to trim off the outside edges because it made it fit a little bit better. For the photos that I chose, I just picked out six of my favorite photos that we've taken of the animals. So these are ones that we actually took. I've got the giraffes, which is our favorite animal there the zebras, the grizzly bear, one of the um, monarch butterflies, the penguins, and then the lion, not the lion, the tiger. 
the tiger. Um, I don't have a good picture of the lions. I really, I'm hoping this summer to get a good one because they just had a baby. So I'm hoping that maybe we can get like mom and baby picture. That would be the best. We'll see what happens. Then for the journaling spots, I'm going to add a little bit about the six different animals and why we love to visit them um, and the season that they're typically more visible in, that sort of thing. Uh, yes, I'm going to use my alphabet stickers to add the Detroit Zoo up at the top. And again, I'm just going to pre-write in my lines here for journaling. It just helps me to know how much space I've got to write and then to also keep things fairly straight. So I like that. The sticker at the bottom says um, something about like what an adventure or this was an adventure. Maybe this was an adventure, which seemed appropriate for going to the zoo. And um, that is pretty much going to complete my pages for today. So we'll slow you guys back down. All right, friends, that finishes up my four spreads in this little book for today. So we've got, as a recap, the spread about Holland, Michigan, the spread about Traverse City, Michigan, Frankenmuth, Michigan, and then the Detroit Zoo here in Michigan as well. So we've got four places that we love to visit here in the state that we live in. <coughs> I hope that you have enjoyed seeing these spreads come together and maybe it's triggered some ideas for stories that you can document in your own scrapbooks or if you are also um, using this book and this kit this month, then maybe it'll give you some different design ideas and all kinds of things. There's so many different ways to document the places that we love. I hope that if you enjoyed this video, you'll give it a thumbs up down below and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of the crafty videos I have coming your way. I will be back again one more time working in this book and finishing up the last four spreads plus the this final page here at the end. So I'm really, really excited to get in here and tell the rest of the stories and finish up this album this month. Um... That is going to do it for me for today. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye friends. <laughs>